943 at the Big 550 KTRS. I am Paul Harris, filling in for McGraw this morning. And uh, in the last segment, I was talking with Nick Pister from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, who covered this open meeting at City Hall last night on the creation of a civilian oversight board of the St. Louis City Police Department. One of the people who was there, who ended up in the middle of what turned into a melee, is Jeff Rorder, who is the business manager for the St. Louis City Police Union, the Police Officers Union, and joins me now on the phone. Good morning, Jeff. Morning, Paul. So I heard from Nick what happened from the reporter's perspective. Tell us what happened from your perspective. Well, uh, you know, about uh, 100 or or more uh, off-duty police officers and police supporters showed up uh, to uh, uh, hear what was said at the hearing last night. Uh, Several of us planned to testify and and signed up uh, at the beginning of the meeting to testify. Uh, Rather than uh, have a balanced conversation about uh, what yet another level of, of civilian oversight in the police department would look like, uh, 35 or so anti-police uh, agitators uh, were allowed to testify, uh, uh, malign police officers, uh, and we sat quietly well, through it all. Let me just uh, interrupt you there to yep. say, when you say they were anti-police and they were maligning police officers, what were they saying? Uh, they were saying uh, all kinds of uh, of. Uh, various stories about their experience with law enforcement. Maybe some of them are true, maybe they're not, but uh, they were uh, very hard to believe, uh, and, you know, they were presented without any, um, you know, evidence to to back them up. Mm -hmm. Um, And and, and just, uh, you know, very critical of law enforcement, uh, you know, continuing, perpetuating this myth that somehow uh, law enforcement is responsible for what's going on, which is is just a, a silly notion. Uh, police officers have a very difficult job, and uh, you know they uh, they deserve some respect and they deserve some fair treatment. That's all we were asking for last night was uh, fair treatment. So we we had 35 anti-police uh, folks testify. Uh, we quietly sat through it uh, when the first police officer got up to try to testify. Uh, the uh, Elements in the crowd um, shouted over him, heckled him. Uh, it happened with the next two officers that tried to testify. No, no attempt by the committee chair to uh, to maintain any order. So I stood up and demanded that uh, there be some order and that my officers uh, be treated with some respect. At which point, uh, Terry Kennedy, the alderman who was in charge of this committee, said, uh, first of all, you do not tell me my function." So yeah. obviously, there has been some friction between you and Mr. Kennedy. Well, I'll tell you, uh, my impression of Terry Kennedy in the past has always been that he's he's a, a, a civil uh, gentleman and, and, and has, has uh, been a classy guy over the years. I, I was shocked and disappointed by what a classless uh, hearing he held last night. So this all kind of devolved, and the meeting ended shortly thereafter. He tried to get it going again, but that didn't happen. Right. Um, well, Tell me what your objection and your fellow officers' objection is to a civilian oversight board. Well, we first of all, we already have civilian oversight. There's a civil service commission uh, that's that's um, staffed by citizens of St. Louis who uh, have the the last word uh, on on the fate of our officers when when they're uh, accused of of some uh, some disciplinary violation or just some sort of wrongdoing. Do they have investigative power? Uh, they uh, they certainly have the ability to um, uh, demand that that all the documents relative to an investigation are produced for them. Okay. Um, so uh, and and we also uh, if our officers are accused of, of wrongdoing, it also goes to a, a group of citizens um, that that sit on the police officer standard and training commission, uh, which is a, a Missouri commission that decides whether you um, can keep your police commission. So if those are already around, why is there a push for something more? I'm not sure, uh, but we're not against yet another layer of oversight. And, you know, we've got seven or eight layers already. Uh, we've got nothing to hide. We're transparent. Uh, we think our officers do a great job. All we asked for uh, and all we asked for last night was for it to be a fair, just, and impartial process. And when the architect of this proposal uh, engages in in what turned out to be a a, a sham uh, and an embarrassment of a of a 
committee hearing, um, I mean, it's, it doesn't restore any confidence in the minds of police officers, all, uh, none of whom want to be the next Darren Wilson, none of whom uh, want to be in the position that Darren Wilson uh, was in on August 9th, none of whom uh, want to be uh, exposed to the, the, the death threats, the loss of their career, the financial ruin that Darren Wilson's being exposed to now. You were wearing a Darren Wilson wristband last night, which some people in the crowd saw, and I guess that made some of them angry. Uh, the, uh, there's also a story in, in both uh, the Post-Dispatch and in the St. Louis American that you shoved some woman who was there last night. Any comment on that? Yeah, first of all, the, the physical violence was all on the part of the, the anti-police demonstrators. Um, but, uh, th- again, this notion that... Uh, and it's the same thing we heard when... Uh, Police officers showing up in protective gear uh, was was said to have provoked violence uh, from the crowd uh, in Ferguson and the Shaw neighborhood uh, and other places. I, it, it's just the same mindset that uh, that police officers or, or police supporters uh, simply occupying space on this planet somehow uh, provokes and justifies uh, violent behavior. Uh, you know. Every night for the first two weeks after the Michael Brown shooting, there were attempts to kill and maim police officers, uh, and that was defended as freedom of speech. And I can't wear a rubber bracelet around my wrist. I should say that we reached out to Alderman Terry Kennedy to join us here this morning. We either couldn't get him or he declined to join us here today. Do you know if he's going to have another committee meeting on this subject or what is going to happen next with the question of a civilian review board? I don't know. Uh, You know, we've offered our input uh, it, it's been uh, shunned, um, but uh, we'll we'll continue to stay at the table because that's what we do. Uh, again, we're let me make it crystal clear: we're not against oversight, we're not against transparency, uh, but we we demand uh, fairness, uh, just treatment, and and most of all, respect for police officers and the badge they wear, which is far from what we saw last night. Jeff Rurda is the business manager for the St. Louis City Police Officers Association. Thanks for joining me here this morning. Thanks, Paul. I'm Paul Harris. This is McGraw Live in the Morning on the Big 550 KTRS and KPLR 11.2. This is McGraw Live on KPLR 11.2, stltoday.com, and the Big 550 K.